when I first moved here, someone said to me, you come to San Francisco to become the person you want to be. And that can be anything that you want. The community is so rich and it's so diverse that I'm learning every single day. San Francisco is an amazing photography town. Historically, always been based on innovation and evolution. And that applies to every single professional field, including photographic arts today. What I do is basically photo-based art. Some of it manifests as traditional photography, some as collage, some as non-traditional photographic printing. Digital photography, iPhones, you know, photography is a medium that's always been changing like super rapidly since it was invented and the quality is not defined by the medium. If you took photography at school or you got a job working in a newspaper, they were going to give you a list that says, this is how you create a photographic story. My goal is to break that model down and to think about how to get from A to B in a way that's uh, unique and it allows the ability to incorporate different types of imagery. It really kind of propels someone through a rise and fall of their own experiences. One of the main things I'm trying to contribute to photography right now is unconventional narrative form. The narrative arc of photography, the in-between of photographs. How does a group of photographs come together as an exhibition, as a book, and, and how do you use the space between photographs to elicit emotional responses from my audience to take them through a journey? and then trying to bring innovation to that and create these bodies of work that narratively function the way photographs haven't functioned before. San Francisco Arts Commission came out and visited me here at the studio. They asked if I would do a solo show there. And one of their prerequisites was to find an artist that had enough work to fill such a large space. There's a quad right where those steps hit the hallway downstairs. And we hung that center quad to feel like a train station. That constant sensation that's vying for my attention from all different directions. Some of the major characteristics of these landscape photographs are the blur of the train, because they're made at 78 miles an hour, so they're not perfect in terms of what a landscape is supposed to look like. That separation from creates a dichotomy between the people that are inside the train. It's not just the story of the subject. It's not just the visual design of the composition, line, juxtaposition, etc. And it, it's not just all autobiography, but it's how those three things work together to create pictures that have meanings that can push and pull within them. And then some of the portraits in the show feel awkward. Some of them feel very well connected and the person that I'm making the picture with is really comfortable and other ones feel awkward and, and waiting and kind of tense. That sensation is counter to, to what we feel like makes a successful portrait. But to me, that sensation is what makes it work. It's hard to be an artist in a city that's 100% focused on business. The cost of living here is really expensive. Um, and, and to value your success, not strictly on financial return, creates a conflict between the predominant ethos in San Francisco today. You see a lot of artists leaving for that reason, just because you need space to make work. My ultimate goal is to make work that affirms people. It affirms them of this gift that is life. And just the experience of life and of their worth. And of the amazement, the wonderment of everything that's around us.